up. All right, here we go, people. I can't even read that. It's so small. What does it say? Ah, gosh. All right, people, here we go. Welcome aboard. It's good to have everybody with us here, all you food-loving uh, people of the internet. We are at probably one of the barbecue places that I've heard the most about, mm -hmm. uh, Same. you know, uh, recently here, uh, J Bar M, yep. and Willow is with us, uh, kind of, uh, you handle the meats, I'm told. Yes, I'm the head pit master. I, uh, run uh, the pit room and it's the menu is what my wife and I were doing before this place opened as a pop-up and then a food truck. Um, so this food has been um, in development for a few years okay. and something that people have known from us for a while and then, um, you know, truck shut down and then the pandemic happened and then I met up with these people and um, it took a while for the construction to happen and now we're doing what we've done for a few years on a grand scale. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's beautiful a one, place. it's a cool looking uh, restaurant as well. And you guys got a massive outdoor patio. Yes, yes. Yeah, it, it's a, with a great view of downtown, a stage for live music. They have a uh, stage. Did you see the stage? I saw the stage. Jordan, you can play with your band. Yes. Well, they want customers to stay oh, wow. and actually spend oh, money. Yeah, so that would, that would defeat the purpose. But let's talk about the food because we've already got one of uh, one of the dishes let's out here go. that I want to talk about this. Let's go to the camera. Let's go to the camera. Let's see what we get here. It's, tell, tell us about the burger, Willow. So this is our Wednesday special. Um, starts at lunch until it runs out. It's our smoked burger. So we, it's a half pound burger made from uh, our brisket uh, okay. meat. And then uh, we smoke it and then hold it in beef tallow until it's ordered. And then we cook it over a post stove live fire. Tell, tell, wow. tell the folks out there what tallow is in case they're uh, Tallow is rendered beef fat. So that keeps it, you know, we cook it to a very rare. Let me get my hand out of there because look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look at this beautiful burger. So uh, we make a. We have a mop sauce that we use for our, uh, our our chicken. Okay. And then so we keep the remnants of that after each cook, and then oh, we blend juicy. it down, and we make a burger sauce oh, with wow. it. Oh my god! Um, and we put our wow. house uh, pickles on it. Uh, the, the the half pound smoked burger <laughs> patty. Fingers out of it. <laughs> um, and then uh, tobacco onions, which thin shaved fried onions, and then uh, two slices of American cheese. Brother, I don't know if they can. Shut the, up. The Sorry, yeah, you can pick it up. I'm just gonna show Grab one of those just in case you guys can't see. Get it, get it. Get it. Get it. In case you can see the inside of this, there it is. There Look it at is. it. Yeah, seriously. Look at that thing. That looks amazing. Willow, tell me about the fries because I'm a fry, yeah, these con are, I'm a these, fry connoisseur. These are uh, house made, hand cut fries. Okay, um, and we're also frying that in beef tallow, also. So, yes, uh, you are. <laughs> yeah, it's that uh, is a distinct taste. Yeah, it, it makes it makes it a uh, really crispy and it gives it a, a, a great uh, robust flavor. Mm -hmm. So you your relationship to barbecue started when? Like when you're saying when you decided I'm going to make barbecue? Yeah, that was probably in 2014. I um, no a little bit before that, probably about 2012. I went to a couple of barbecue places and kind of had a, an awakening, um, you know, had a few bites. One locally was Gatlin's. An awakening in what way? Well, like, like, just like, like what you're eating wasn't good No, enough? no, no, no. It, it was okay. amazing. The opposite. Okay, yeah, okay. And, and it sent me down a rabbit hole. It, also, I went to like a Louis Miller barbecue in Taylor and then I went to Law Barbecue in Austin. And it just like showed me what was possible barbecue, like how good a brisket could be. And then it was my goal to try to do it myself. Um, and so I went down a rabbit hole and I was working in television. I was working actually at, at Fox Sports Net uh, and I was- we heard of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I was working, you know, I was cooking every weekend and taking it to leftovers to work and everybody, you know, just like everybody does. And your they friends always, it. Yeah, and all your friends always like, you could sell this, you know, yeah. which when I look back on my early pictures, I'm like, really, you were selling this? But I got out there and I did it, yeah. and we approved the whole, you know, along yeah. the way. And I'm going to feed the studio audience today. <laughs> get in there. Get, get, you get you some. Get you some. Thank you. Get in there. These fries are very good. Um, You're not wasting so food. Yeah, so, so that well, here's my question. 
so obviously, you know, Gatlin's and you just named a lot of like A list barbecue places. Yeah. Is there a little, a uh, little trepidation about starting barbecue in Texas and among so many great, yes. you know, kid masters, <laughs> right? I mean, it's got to be a little scary, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> yes, all the time, man. I mean, even now that I've been doing it for a while, I mean, because there was the whole break that I had when I closed the truck or we closed the truck and, you know, then the pandemic happened. So the construction on this got slowed down. So I was like out of practice. I mm. felt like I wasn't doing it all the time. It's like, how can I cook every week? A little bit week? of pressure. Yeah, you know, and so it's just, I'm always like, I, day to day, I stress about it. Like, is it good yeah, but enough? That, but you know what, that, that is a very uh, common trait among people who are searching for excellence yes. and no, who totally. are very, very I, creative I, and very hard on themselves. I, I'm told <laughs> that I need to have more confidence in myself, but I'm also told, don't lose that because then you become complacent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You oh, you always forward motion. Right. Yeah. You gotta keep forward Totally, motion. totally. Yeah. So it's a balance. Um, but, you know, I'm very proud of where we're at with yeah. our food right now. Um, my team is killing it. Um, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Bring pickled. it in the big gun. All right, tell us about this, pl this uh, platter right, right now. So we got our prime smoked brisket, uh, pork ribs, our half chicken, which we do uh, a little different than what most places in Houston would do is direct heat. Um, okay. Like I said earlier, with a mop sauce while we cook, while we cook it. So, you know, you're cooking it over over coals, and then when you do, you yeah. hit it with the mop sauce, all that the juice from the chicken, and then from the mop sauce, there's like butter in it and everything. It hits the coals, the smoke comes back up under it. So, I call it like a country chicken. So I'm guessing this is your own special mop sauce that you've developed. Yeah, but it's not anything different than what they do in Central Got Texas. It. Okay, right. you know, so it's this very is, traditional. Yeah, yeah. Got it. In my mind, it is. Um, that's a smoked turkey breast and then pulled pork with our mustard sauce on top of that. Uh, Jasmine, my uh, my partner in life and in crime. Yeah. These are all her pickled items. Or oh. house made. Uh, Those are so yeah. good. They're I love pickles, pickles, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're pickles, yeah. okra, Dude, this is, uh, carrots this is with cauliflower. Right yeah, the, the, the jalapenos mm. and the carrots and the copper are all in the same batch, and they got like a... Oh, my gosh. That, that, yeah, it has a different flavor than, oh than the pickles. Do you sell these separate? We don't, but we talk about it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and then they this, would sell very well. And then this is our house uh, barbecue sauce, like a just a traditional oh, Texas you. barbecue sauce, and then there's our mustard sauce. And you guys make all your sauces? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything is made in Katie, sauce. what kind of interest you in? Turkey <laughs> place. Yes. And I can't wait for these sauces. You know, so, tell me oops. about your barbecue sauce because this is a very personal question. I feel like I'm asking you right now. Um, I mean, it's a it's a traditional barbecue sauce. It's ketchup based. Um, you know, it's just, I, I I don't know what to say about. It. I mean, we I do put beer in it. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> What is your beer of choice? Uh, for the sauce, it's Lone, uh, Lone Star. Amen to that, brother. Uh, mm -hmm. I also put beer in my uh, in my mop sauce. That mm -hmm. I go with Shiner with that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, mustard, yeah, it's mustard sauce, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a that one came later, and I'm it's become my new favorite. The mustard one, yeah, yeah. But the uh, I think y'all both need to try the, the brisket. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm, the, like I'm the I'm the I'm, yeah. I'm the I'm the I'm the uh, I'm the meat eater in the family, but 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 I've been told that I'm not allowed to not try the brisket. <laughs> I, because you're at a barbecue. I've, been, I've, I've heard about you're, you. You're in a barbecue joint. You, got to. you have a reputation for knowing what you're doing. We try. <laughs> I try very hard. Thank you. There you go. There yeah. You go. It looks right. really good. It smells, I, as soon as we walked in, well, no, as soon as I parked my car, yeah. I was overwhelmed That's a good with sign. the smell. And it was so, so good. It must be so fun to like pull up every day and go to work at, Look at, this. at a place yeah. that smells amazing. When I, would, when I come up in the morning and, uh, they're doing the chicken cook or in the middle of the afternoon, we do two cooks oh, okay. for dinner and in, in, in the beginning for lunch. Mm -hmm. That smoke going through <laughs> yeah, out to the parking lot or, 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 or the sidewalk is wonderful. Yeah. Or like there's been days where I've done both of the chicken cooks and at the end of the day, I'm like, I smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just met you a little while ago and I, that was the first thing I was going to say, but I figured I didn't want to make it weird. Yeah. Let's make it weird. It's all right. <laughs> so 
is there a house favorite right now? What do you see the customers really gravitating to? I mean, it's always going to be brisket. Um, yeah. This you know, is very good. I, yeah. I hate to say it. I mean, not that I hate to say it. I'm not an eater. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm eating meat. You know, this is, this is so good. I can't stop eating it. Right um, but I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's all... Everybody likes everything. And that's, yeah. like, you know, what we try to do here is just make everything as good as we can. The chicken, I feel like, is also something that you know, like I said, and most people in Houston are doing just a straight smoked chicken. They're not right. doing a direct heat chicken. The burger has taken off. It's something that people are really liking. Uh, burger super good. Yeah, I mean, we worked on that for like three weeks before we finally, you know, started selling it to the customers. You know, right. I went through different variations, you know, and when we finally got to this one, because especially with the tobacco onions, the fried onions on it, I've always grown up where I like put chips on my sandwiches yeah yeah yeah. 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 Burger. Right. yeah so having that texture and that crunch in it is yeah. great when, when you say you went through a few versions what does that look like in your kitchen is that you and uh, that's a this is us feeding the crew yeah. and coming out you know doing it one way a certain day and doing it another, another i'm just time. asking them yeah well no i don't care no i'm joking <laughs> it, 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 it's a it's a collective you know Everybody gives their opinion, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's you know it's basically everybody's going to be on the same page. We all right. We all love food, you know. Mm-hmm. Like the like one of the things like someone told me earlier, like we, like when we pack our sandwiches to go, we don't. So we our sandwiches come on Texas toast. Um, we separate it in the to go box. We keep the bread and the meat separate. Right. Like when I tell customers, I'm like, hey, so you know, like when you open it up, you're like, what the hell? Yeah, like like we don't do it so your bread doesn't get soggy. And they're like, man, most places don't think about that. I'm like, well, we love food. Yeah, like I, we think about I that. Don't think I've ever That's super my smart. Order that was like that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I just don't want you to think like we half asked it. No, yeah. we did this with yeah. a reason. Yeah, right. Sure. So I love that. I love that. Tell me, back up. What do we got here? This is pulled pork. All right. Pulled so pork. Yeah, uh, all you, Ruby. Uh, you know it. That's our mustard sauce put on top of it. We think the, uh, you know, the the mustard sauce goes well on the. Uh, with the pork, I think it goes well on everything though. Like I said, I've been putting it on. Even when I get like a baked potato here, I put the mustard sauce on. Yeah, I love barbecue baked potatoes. Do you guys have barbecue baked yeah. potatoes here? You do? Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite yeah. Texas traditional. It's a, it's a big seller, especially when the weather's colder. Mm-hmm. They, they fly out. There's been days where, like, you know, we kind of go off of previous numbers and like we're making them at a certain pace that we think we need to and all of a sudden we're out for like 30 minutes because yeah it's like one person buys it and then the next they see it and the next six people buy it yeah and so they're like you know 20 minutes later you're out and you're like oh well, we're, they're not gonna be ready for i'm gonna rotate this real quick and and you said this place opened in 2019 well no so the restaurant opened in mid-november oh, oh okay. yeah yeah oh, so wow. yeah so we we Actually, 2019, I think, is when we closed our food truck. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, we we just opened. This place was a like lot uh, when I met with the Toomeys, who owned it and, and built this place. We met on the patio of Leland House, right across yep. the street. Mm-hmm. And this was a lot. And, um, yeah, I, we had closed our food truck. Um, within a couple of days, um, a friend hit me up and was like, man, sorry about what happened, but I know these people who are going open a barbecue joint. Um, they're legit. It's gonna happen. Yeah. They're looking for someone to run the pit room. Would you like to have a meeting with them? And I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do right now. So yeah, I'll have a meeting yeah. with them. The and pick, they, I'm sorry. The yeah. pickled cauliflower. Oh, That's that, what that, I want to say. So, my oh my next. god. That was my next. So the, the the jalapenos and the carrots and the cauliflower are all in the same batch. There's a yeah, yeah. The, yeah. There's great flavors to those. Wait, half of want, it. Bert, we'll cut it in half. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so you start with that little piece. Okay, okay, all right. Very possessive. You were saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's um, you know, it, we when we're we operated the truck for a year, and Allison Cook reviewed us from the Houston Chronicle, gave us a three star review, which I'm just like, I don't know if she even reviews food trucks really, and that's a pretty high review. She does what zero through four, mm-hmm. so it was just like. Oh shit, really? You know, but the very next day, um, the health inspector was at our truck. Uh oh. Yeah, and they. Was it a favorable review or? Yeah, it was, yeah, oh, it was yeah. tremendous. And you no, know, they were like, they are like, you know, there was people waiting for us to open. And they're like, oh, you must be popular. And I was like, yeah, well, we just had this review. I'm sure this is why you're here. Yeah. And they're like, we don't know about your press. And I'm like, sure, that's oh. why you're here. Right, right, right. 
and they uh, I'm going in for the chicken guys I had a separate trailer with a smoker on it and they deemed that illegal they wanted me to tow it into the commissary daily like our food truck and I'm like there's a fire in it five days a week mm. there's right meat in it there's grease in it right you know where it's That's not gonna work two three yeah. person operation so we started buying temporary event permits to get around as like a loophole and then money just got upside down so mm -hmm. right. we closed down and within one week I met with these people and the Toomies and um yeah, they, uh, they're like, you know, we want you to be our guy, you know, and they kept me on as like a consultant for the whole time throughout the pandemic to like get this place open with them. Wow. Um, you know, it's like, a, <laughs> I've said this before, it's a quote that I would like to say is that I felt ass backwards into a dream, mm. kind of, you know what I mean? You go into our pit room, I mean, we have a pit room that is amazing. I got four 1,000 gallon Moberg smokers. We got two BQ grills. The kitchen, you know, we're able to do anything we want to. Right. Like a dream, right? Yeah. That's awesome. You know, like the food that we developed over the years, now we're able to do it on this larger scale. And everybody can come get it whenever they want now. And you have control over all of your ingredients and yes. how you're assembling everything and you're just doing it all here. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, Jasmine and Emily, uh, she's, you know, Jasmine's my wife, the executive chef, and then her sous chef, Emily, you know. I'm not going to say we're, you know, I'm not going to act like we're the only people doing it, but we are one of the people that we're doing everything from scratch. Like we make our own stocks, our own chicken and beef stock. We make our own breadcrumbs. There's a side that Jasmine does every once in a while where it's topped with marshmallows. She makes her own marshmallows. Mm, oh my goodness. You know, That's um, Ruben's favorite. Ruben loves marshmallows. <laughs> and, and then, you know, and this, this, we, we make sure we source quality ingredients. We take our time and, uh, and pay attention to detail. And uh, the customers appreciate it. You know, I think people are, are they notice it. You know, yeah. The the sausage, this, the sausage alone. You know, um, this that, might be the best chicken, barbecue chicken I've ever had. No. Wait, what? Legit. Wait. That's what I'm telling you, man. It's uh, wait, you want that little drumstick? Yes, please, Tear it yes, off. Please. You got it. You got it. Wait a minute. I got it's it. It's a it's 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 a flavor that I don't think you get mm. from just <laughs> right. Wow. So, I noticed your big patio out there. Do people bring kids? Oh, kind of a kid, oh yeah. Kid like, especially on Sundays, we, for a while we've been doing uh, music from 12 to 3 uh, on Sundays. People will come with their families. 12 to 3 on Sundays. Yeah. yeah. It, we, lately, we, uh, just last week, we started on Saturday and Friday and Saturday evenings also. Oh, but, I mean, we've become very much... You know, in the short time that we've been open, like a neighborhood place. I can see that. Yeah, we got people to come several times a week, which surprises me. They're like, I went one day, you know, one day I was like asking someone how it was, and I was like, Is this your first time? He's like, This is my third time this week. And I was like, oh, Dude, I Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, guys, it's on right here on Leland. The address was just up there. And um, if you haven't been down to Edo and you're not really familiar with it, I mean, we're like, walking distance from the Toyota Center, you know. Yeah, and, uh, and so, many cool things, so many cool things happening Yeah, George Brown's right here, too. Yeah, yeah we get a lot of people in from the conventions. Spot. Yeah, you're coming to a game or something. Yeah, you wanna, you, Yeah, you want to get something to eat ahead of time? Mm -hmm. Put this on your list, because this stuff is legit, and, man. You know, the Astro season's about to start up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, we expect things to kind of really blow up. And then we're, um, we, we're, we're going to be on a, a national TV show tomorrow evening. Congratulations. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on the, the, the tomorrow's episode of Top Chef was filmed here. That's fantastic, Very man. Cool. Yeah. That's so. amazing. I mean, that's a huge deal. Well, thanks for doing our little. <laughs> we really appreciate it. You know, this that you're taking the it. You're, that you're taking the time out to do our little, our little, our little show. Hey, this is the first time I've been able to tell anybody. Like, I'm like, okay, it's airing tomorrow, so I can finally say something. Oh, yeah. So uh, cool. Well, you heard it here first. More breaking news. Yeah. We had breaking news last we, week. We last, it last week too. Week too. <laughs> Dude, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's I'm blown away, really. Yeah. I really am. And I eat a lot of barbecue. This is, this is Yes. This is great. Ruben will tell you, and I'm I'm afraid to go back and look on camera to see how much of that brisket I ate because I ate quite a bit. No, you're fine. Uh, hey, let's talk about this. And I know you're the pit master, ooh. not in charge of the bar, but you guys, full bar, okay, which you don't get with, all, with every barbecue bar, joint that you go to. Spicy margarita. Oh, okay. Um, I shall, I shall, I'll show, I'll Vanna White this. Yeah. There you go. This is the spicy margarita look how and delicious that looks probably it's like a bellini or some sort of champagne something. something but that is very cool that you guys have a drink cool drink <laughs> drink 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 mm. whistle while you work perfect 
in. I don't know what this you know is, what? but this looks exotic and Hello. lovely. Hi. How are you? Tell us what this is. Which one? What is that? You know, mm -hmm. that's a, that looks like the mimosa. It looks like the mimosa? Okay, okay fantastic. Sure. I only know about these things. Oh, mm. got it. So this sorry. This is my department. It says <laughs> yeah. sides on your apron, so we should know that. <laughs> all right, all, all, okay, all right, cool. All right, let, yeah, let's do sides. Did we get everything sides. here? Did we, we got everything yeah. here? Oh, Boy, we finally got no, oh, oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Yep. Oh, Wait a minute. we forgot the sausage. Things, yeah, yeah this just went up a notch. Oh, so this is one we're very proud of because it's a very labor-intensive process. You know, and, and again, we're not the only ones doing this, but it just, it does take, anyone who is doing it, it takes a lot of work. So we got a, a house-made sausage, I mean, our, our regular house-made and a house -made Look cheddar. at that thing. Uh, yeah. That's a work of art right we, there. We do not do uh, the high temp cheese. We like, we use Telemu, uh sharp cheddar. I'm so take a bite of Yeah, no, you have to. I, I know, so, I do. I, I know. You guys, you guys just got to stay. I don't know Game over. Say a little bit about. So, um. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's one day of uh, curing it, the second day of grinding it, mixing it, stuffing it, linking it, let it hang for a day, and the third day of cold smoking it, which takes six hours, do cold smoking in an ice bath, and then let it rest again in the walk-in. So how much research and development went into this sausage? Quite, quite, quite a bit, but whenever I, I I did some a little bit beforehand, and then we when I got my crew in here and we finally were going to do it, I was like, look, you know, this may not be right away, like a hell run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was. it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just You're ran. Just <laughs> we just accepted. We, we, we ran, we ran <laughs> with it. Right? And, and I'm so, I'm so happy. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, and this is, this is using our, our brisket trimming. And then, uh, our, and then we put, it's, it's a mix of beef and pork. <laughs> We use our brisket trimming and then we put in pork butt with Ruben's it. Pretty happy right we, now. we are working also on all, on all beef because uh, there's some people who don't eat pork. He's doing a cast yet, so he's, like, <laughs> no, he's, he's just like in heaven. Yeah, he's just he's just like you is know. Is it the hell of a jet? It's good, right? Bro, <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is, yeah, it's good. And you know, we do always ask. Like, I was in my mind. I'm like, I'm coming back with this chicken, but yeah. People ask, like, they're yeah, like, is it spicy? And I'm like, well, it's healthy and cheddar. It's supposed like, to like, Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, it lets you know you it's healthy and cheddar. So it doesn't sit there and burn you, get, you the whole you time. Get, you're going to get jal that jalapeno on your tongue, but it's not distracting. Yeah, it's it's not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't sit there and just burn yeah, you up. You don't feel it behind your eyes. It's, yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Kind of so the nicely. balance of it yeah. Yeah. is really nice. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you'll get something like that, and there's something sticks out that you don't want it to stick out. Balance is beautiful. It's fantastic. You guys nailed it. Is this a popular after school spot? Because no. Um, no, that's right. It is now. Yeah, right. Because I, because I have a, I have a kindergartner, and I very much appreciate the enclosed patio. You know, oh, because no. I knew the neighborhood, so you never know. Yeah. What yeah. You're there, get. There's times where tons of people show up yeah. and it's all filled with red, <laughs> with red uniforms from the uh, from U of A. Yeah. Um, one thing that's great here is. We're not a place yet that has like lines like before we open the doors or anything, but when the line does form, our in, the inside part of the queue is so large, a lot of it's inside. I love so it. So that's right. The, the parking lot is huge. We've got like 100 spaces, which and that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. There are. I've never heard myself say that. Then there's the green space with the with the extra where we got the the dummy. The I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I say it's for the kids, kids, but you see yeah. you see adults out there all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son is gonna. I'm I'm bringing my son I think that's fantastic. I think that's great. I think that's awesome. So this was one I think y'all one of y'all should get on the the spicy margarita. Okay. Okay. You, 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 okay. Just, you go off the straw. Do the straw. Yeah. And you put the so extra uh, spicy in there for Katie, right? Because that's it. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to switch out with y'all and let Jasmine get in here. She's the, the queen of size. Well, and, uh, I like that a lot. Hey, brother. Brother. Hello, thank but, you hey, so much. continued success, bro. Yeah. Thank I you. Know you don't.
that and the brisket. Um, and we, one of my all time favorites, mac and cheese. So, yeah. all righty, yeah. all righty. So, let's do this. Uh, Katie, what do you sure. want to taste? Yeah, I'll try the tomatoes for sure. Let's go yeah. tomatoes. Yes, taste some of those. Good. And I'm going to go with cabbage and see what happens. <laughs> Marie, are you monitoring the stream? Are we still streaming? Yeah, you're still Okay, good. Just okay. making sure, making sure. Thank y'all. And so these are, this is just kind of like a little salad. Yes. Little side. Mm -hmm. It's just freshy. It's a vegan side. Also, our, oh, nice. our, oh, our nice. uh, pineapple habanero slaw is also vegan. Oh, how so, nice. And mm -hmm. we do have vegetarian, vegan-friendly sides. Um, and they're they're perfect for summertime. They complement our meats perfectly. So, mm -hmm. that's looking so good. How is it? Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. When we first started doing the oh, tomatoes on, on the on the truck, more bites for you. It was a while, It took a while for people to catch on to them. I I ended up I made them on a whim, and then I was like, okay, nobody's ordering these. So I started giving them out to people as yeah. they ordered. They weren't ordering the marinated tomatoes. And right. I was like, just try them. I Ooh. gave them away, and then they caught on, um, and then yes. they became fan oh favorites. Oh my goodness! So, yes, I. Yeah. I will. You got to stop eating every this. Day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Good. Okay. Do you want to try the mac? Yes. Okay. I'm going to scoop some for you. Okay. okay. Thank you. So tell me about your mac and cheese. What makes it? It's um, probably really good. Well, what yes, makes go for okay. like the yeah. very loose to be. Uh, corkscrew, mm -hmm. we used to call it the uh, screw soup. Um, nice pop ups mm -hmm. because we use little, de little, 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 little DJ screw. Oh, right, uh, because everything shout out. here is kind of a remnant from <laughs> yes. pop ups, too. So, yes. so maybe some more than others, Absolutely. too. Right? And like so. our, our slaw, we used to call it the flaming wood slaw because mm. we had friends that um, did they had big. Big Daddy's hot sauce company. Oh, they, Trevi. They, yeah, 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 yeah Trevi Biles. Yeah, Shout they, out. That, that dressing from the slaw was actually flaming lips. Um, That's good stuff. Flaming lips hot sauce. I okay. like all their hot sauce. Yeah. Very, very good. That wow. amplified heart's really good, Thank too. You. Amplified heat. Mm -hmm. Amplified heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yes, yes. Yeah. Correction from the boss. Yeah. Oh, man. Have you tried the mac and cheese? Yeah, so what you want to do is get a mouthful of that and then chase it with the tomato. Oh, okay. You want a tomato chaser. Wait, is that a thing? It's about to be a thing. No, 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 that's not how you do it. Well, excuse me. See when that all's happening at the same time? What's happening in there? Did you know about this? Look at that. I did it. I always do the That should be like a shooter. Tomato, yeah. Put some tequila in it or something. You know, you know, float that tomato and the mac and cheese on top and you got something happening there. Something, something amazing is about to happen. Do you know how good this is? I that's incredible. <laughs> that does <laughs> swear. That's incredible. So <laughs> when you're when you're coming up with these sides, right, and you're coming up with the dish like this, like and just like I asked Willow, you know, how long did it take to you know it's, develop that? It how, wasn't anything. To put that recipe together. I, I wanted something bright and refreshing. Yeah. For the summertime, I did that in the summertime. When you we nailed it. Food truck. But I it's year wanted, round now, right? Yeah, like it's, it's year a round. Staple. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it should, it should, and it was yeah. just something that I was like. I think I want to do this, and I just threw it together uh, really quickly one day, yeah. and I I wrote it down, and I, it was something I just kept doing, and yeah. I like I said, it wasn't it didn't catch on right away, um, but I kept giving it away to people every time yeah. I ordered. God, I wish I knew you when you were giving that right. away. <laughs> yeah. I had to do the same thing with the smoked turkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really? Yeah, that was yeah. a hard sell at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I'm, always like, I'm always like, if a barbecue man cooks something, try it. Yeah. Not doing it so, for my. No. Ooh. All right. What is yes. this side? Holy cow. This, this is, is the cauliflower au gratin. Cauliflower, and then what's on mm -hmm. top? Uh, fried leeks. Fried leeks. Fried leeks. Yes. And fried leeks were something I was able to do on the food truck. Mm -hmm. um, it was a little too, uh, a little too much for us to do at the time. Mm -hmm. I just, I did the cauliflower. The, you know, we um, we roasted our cauliflower. I made the gouda sauce. I can taste um, it. It's really good. And then when we got here, I was like, you know what? I have, I can do it. You nice. know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try it. I always wanted to put fried leeks on top of this dish. And I did. And it's it's just as I imagined. You know, the thing is, I love that, Ruben, because, um, <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> I was saying anything. I was listening. I, I, I love hearing this because, you know, they started out as a food truck. And, yeah. and, and we've talked to a lot of food trucks and and. and Yep. Chefs who have come from fine dining even and opened up a food truck. Mm -hmm. And 
um, you know, the, the goal always is, is to get in brick and mortar for, for the most part, for all yeah. of them, for most of them. And, um, and I, you know, also to kind of have that freedom expand. to do whatever you yeah. want. Sure, sure. Right. You yeah. know, which but, I think is great. But to expand sure. and like, and like she's talking about, you know, she had, she was a little bit limited in her yeah. ability to be creative and do the dishes. Yes. And now she's got this bigger space. And right. I just, yeah. I just think that's really, really special because it shows the process. Yeah. And it's, I, yeah, you know, I, I actually have the time to play with it yeah. and I was like let me see if this actually does work and out. it's like and now it that you did. have the right tools yeah. it's like look what you can yes build. yeah it's amazing what's, to see that that all unfolds. what's yeah. what's what's tougher a day in the food truck or a day oh, or a day cooking question. here I've been asked that question before um I would have to say a day in the food truck for sure there just was, because there was I mean we had weather there are, or weather was like, a major one yeah um if it rained, I mean, we were chugging mud through the right? truck. Yeah. yeah, like we had a muddy floor. I mean, we yeah. it, was, it was difficult. Challenging, yeah. Here, like, you know, we have everything that we need right, right, right. to make your home. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, I mean, so. if you can pull off a food truck. I think you can pull off. I don't care anywhere, sure. man. That's, yeah, you've got yeah. to really be able to do that. Yeah, you know? we do. So I, I think definitely uh, the food truck is... So Makes are these sense. all the sides right now, or are these like just kind of the top These ones? are just my favorite Got ones. it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Which Sorry, one? just asking. Did you try this one, Ruben, or no? No, I'm going oh, okay. to so scoop you some. So potato salad. Really? So red potato salad. It's mm. got a lot of herbs. Yes. Um, now, do you, Ruben, Ruben asked a, a good question earlier. Do you feel, you know, because you are doing barbecue in a pretty barbecue in town, do you, what kind of, do you feel any, any, pressure as far as like how your dishes kind of stack up against the traditional favorites and um not particularly i just always wanted to make sure that we did stuff that was really really good and really really well done mm -hmm. so i mean i didn't really worry about i've never worried about what other people are doing necessarily mm -hmm. I just. She's uh, always been a badass. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to pick that up. Yeah. Yeah. Palette and just did it, and yeah. um, you know, I'm not a formally trained chef, mm -hmm. so I figured a lot of stuff out on my own. Wow. I had friends that are very good cooks, and some friends that are are really good chefs, and so I, you know, talked to them, and you know, just kind of done done what I wanted yeah, to do. The whole, the whole lifetime. Out. Figuring it out and yes, your family members and also consulting family members. How did you make the charo beans? Oh, <laughs> that yeah. kind of thing. You're yeah. like I can't tell you. <laughs> well, they they tell you, but you got to do it on your own, just like with barbecue. Yes. Do you do, do, you do, do, you do how you do it? Uh, color green? Green? I do. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yes. Um, you know, I always ask because I love color greens. I do. I love color I am, greens I am a, too. I am a crazy, I crazy collard greens fanatic. I love them. I love them. Okay. So you I'll do the also the dessert the sides and the dessert. And the dessert. We kind of touched on the drinks a little bit, I think, but uh. So, oh my gosh! Okay. What just happened? These, Everybody just needs to step back. We do some mega mega cinnamon rolls here. This is a mega cinnamon roll, you guys. Mm -hmm. When is this available? Is this like all day? Is it? No, I don't know. What kind of question? Is um, what is so funny about that question? <laughs> pretty much all day. It's, we also do peach cobbler. We do. A, I've heard about the peach a chocolate cobbler. ganache pie and sure. um, banana pudding. We right, do slow peach down. You're, you're making me crazy. And do you do anything with this? Like with the this, the mega bun? Do you warm it up? Or do we you can. Just, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. If you want to warm it up, we can warm it up, and we can even cut it for you. Here's I mean, Katie's food. It's a, definitely, it's a shareable dessert. What's so such a great, I mean, it's, one more. It's look at this, look at this bad boy. Look at this, look at this guy. Oh, okay. Now this is classic Texas barbecue mm -hmm. joint right here. Absolutely. You know, banana yeah. pudding. Look at the deliciousness that's happening there. Feel free pudding. to lick the screen at home. Look at that. It's, it's look at own, it. It's my own recipe for banana pudding. It's okay. just how I like it. We make yes, our own whipped cream. Um, make sure that there's enough um, vanilla wafers and bananas in every bite. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you. It's got it all. Katie, I'll switch this off. She makes her own whipped cream. Try to think about, yeah, yeah. about every bite. All right, Katie. Thank you, thank you. You got it. This is this is Katie's part of the show. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is where the real is, uh, where the real real happens. So hold on, I'm gonna do this separately because you said homemade whipped cream. Yes. Okay, there you go. You gotta you gotta make your own whipped cream. Homemade whipped cream, mm -hmm. and then whipped cream with the nick wafer. Mm -hmm. oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Baby. Respect. Respect. Baby. Respect. <laughs> yeah. And now, hold on. Now, singular. Get it, get it. Wait one second. 
Oh, yeah? Oh, my God. There's a thing happening there? All right. I'll take it from here. <laughs> I love that. I didn't try this guy. Look at this. Look at this. Pinkish, purpley, lavendery deliciousness, whatever this might be. Happy hour all day tomorrow. Guys, happy hour all day tomorrow. Top Chef Watch Party starting at 6. I don't know if you guys can see. I want to get like a get in it. here. Get and it. Show you. It's I'll hold it. You eat. Okay. No problem. Look at that. Look at the. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going down, down, That's baby. That's probably really popular here. Yes. We got it. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we can't keep enough of it on the shelf. Well, there you go. Your, That's um, an excellent sign. How's your to-go business doing here? Um, it's it's good. Yeah. It's, you know they. I'd like to see more of it, mm -hmm. of course, but yeah. We're but it keeping... seems like your items could be very. Oh yeah, we yeah we package yeah. everything that we're. That's why it's easy to you know fly off the shelf and, mm -hmm. and take to go. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Well, guys, I think congratulations. Yeah. I think we did, did. We miss anything? Yeah. If we hit it all, this, I think no. We talked about this guy. We had him in okay. here, but you have to taste it. So don't yeah. get, don't get full on banana pudding. Yes. Chocolate and I do I do pie specials on the weekends on Saturdays and Sundays. Love that. When Wait, I love that. you do more pies? I do. Wait. The pie is my jam. Okay, <laughs> so I love I love an all butter crust pie. You should have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love. I love pies. I love pies too. So, um, I strawberry pie certain season. I've done a strawberry pie. I've done a strawberry rhubarb pie so far. Oh my goodness. And they're just going to keep coming. So, so you post so, on social when so, you do your pies? For, we try to. Where'd you get your strawberries from? Um, we've just been picking them up, like from our local, local yeah, farmers, local, local vendors. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And I, I mentioned this because uh, maybe you're brand new and, you know, Houston's always got new people coming into the city. Mm -hmm. There are, they, you know, it's, of course, we have our longtime Houstonians, but there's always people that are from somebody somewhere else that just got here. You would not believe how good the strawberries are in this area, oh, know, right? Yeah. Legit. And I didn't yes. know that until I was at a local, I was at Froberg's one morning, mm -hmm. and uh, we had done a story about how the uh, freeze might have mm -hmm. affected them. Yeah. And he peels the cover off of them, and he goes, you know, they're pretty sturdy. Eat that. You know, like I picked one out of the dirt. It was the best strawberry yeah. I've ever had in my life. Like, I didn't know they could taste like that you know yeah, so yeah. yeah that's why i wanted to shout that's, it out though um, this is insane yeah this is insane that's the I, one I, I don't think i've ever tasted so, uh, like something as good as this from a barbecue so place. if like oh. if like that it's pie so and the banana pudding had to fight who wins yeah. Ruben, you ask who really, takes really ridiculous that's questions all right. sometimes that's like hard you ask life. really good questions most of the time but that is just unfair you've got that's very really limited good. material yeah no, we not got fair. a lot of the good not stuff. Not fair. This is incredible. This Thank is you. this is not. Can you try this, please? Can you just try like the quality? I'm only of, doing this for you. The quality is we very very specific. Best I am the best only chocolate. Is very, and this is my point. Vanilla. There's very few people this that can is, get me to do this. This is something that, like, if I was at a very like a high end steakhouse I mean, or you know a really nice yeah. Italian restaurant like Roma or something like yeah, that, this this is what you would have for dessert. But we are not there. We're at J and M Barbecue. That's right. Okay. He's like waiting for me to make sure I say that he eats it because no, seriously, seriously, like that's very high quality ingredient chocolate. Like seriously, delicious. yeah, no, this is can't even tell you how bravo, bravo, bravo. Do you have a chocolate craving that's gonna, that's gonna fix? Yes, yeah, my yes. Yeah, no, I'm even thinking. I, I, I already have an idea of why, why I want to order the entire pie. I already yeah. have a. Well, you can't a, bring a holiday. Yeah, get your oh, orders holidays. in now because yeah. they sell out. No, this is a pie I would order for the holidays. 100%. I love it. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. So, wait, you have other pies too. What um, other pie? Well, we do. No, I think weekends, we're okay. No. I've done the Everybody strawberry pie and the strawberry rhubarb. <laughs> strawberry rhubarb so, and pumpkin. Yeah. 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 And I have a plans for pecan. doing some other ones. Oh, yeah, I've done the pecan pie. Oh, also. And I do an all butter crust. Um, my favorite part of a pie is also the crust. Yes, uh, Who keeps talking from like off camera? Pudding. Yeah, I'm sorry. Red pudding. <laughs> Hello. Salty They're a dog. team. They're partners. Salty this is dog. like, this is their, you know. Yeah. This is their baby. This is their blood. Absolutely. This is, uh, yeah. Well, I'm ch I think we're, I think we're hitting the end on time. Yes. So, uh, hey, so I want to just tell you guys, uh, I'm blown away. Knocked it out of the park. Fantastic. And uh, you guys got to come check them out. They're down here on Leland. Yes. J&M. 
Uh, the weather's nice right now. Take advantage of that beautiful patio, that is, amazing patio. Yeah, really good. Because, you know, it's about to be like surface of the sun hot in Houston, Texas, yeah. which means this room will be full yeah, of, yeah. Uh, you we know. places to cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, man, much congratulations to you guys. You. Uh, any self-respecting barbecue lover needs to bring themselves yes. down here. Am I right? Yes. And Am I have, right? We need to come here too. We need to, like to come here and like bring the kids. You yeah. Bring your daughter, yes. my son, yes. and just let them play. Right. In the enclosed area. Right, and we'll have a Mine good time doing it. All right, guys, we're gonna shove off here. Thank you. Willow, uh, Pitmaster, doing it up. Jasmine in control of sides and the incredible Thank desserts. You. you guys are a, a match made in barbecue heaven. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, and shout out to the bar guys working hard back there. Yes. Uh, we're going as soon as we finish here. We're just moving over to the bar. Cinnamon roll the size the size of your head. What else could you possibly want? J and B. I always say I'm J, J Bar M. J Bar M. I'm thinking Jim B. Uh, come check them out, guys. Show them some love. Support your local uh, small businesses. And, of course, you know, darn good Houston barbecue. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Thank see you, ya. guys. Peace.